On national issues, I want to make my point on two things. You cannot rewrite history. History is there. And um, when I heard the president speak on Thursday, and he exuded as caucus, uh, that is not in tandem with what I know is in real life in our pockets. I was in shock. I was wondering whether I'm the one who lives in a different world or he lives in a different world. Um, the reality is that what he spoke that day was Bonoko economics. Those were not truths. Kibaki's economy, for example, he said, uh, grew to a GDP of 4.7 by the time he left in 2013. Central bank figures, and anybody can Google them, will show you that it was actually 6.7. We want facts, Mr. President. We want facts, not dreams and fantasy. We are capable of living in this world, however harsh, but we want the truth. The State of the Nation address should be address about our people as a country. What is our true state? not our false state. He went on to say things like he has done 10,800 kilometers of road since he came to power. That is nine years. I recall when we were campaigning in the year 2017, he said that they had done 10,000 kilometers of road. In fact, he said that it is in the bottle. Just go into the bottle and you see all the roads they have done 10,000. So in four years, he did 10,000. He's saying in these five or four years, he has been able to do only 800. Facts, Mr. President, facts. Tell us the truth. These are not truths. We want truths because we are living in this world. We live in this world long before we are all gone. We want nothing but the truth. And the truth is as follows. You have tripled, you have quadrupled. You have raised our debt to more than 600% of what you found. That debt we are not enjoying because it has gone to things we cannot explain. It is very clear you have been unable to boost our productivity. It is also true that the cost of living has increased for each and every single one of us. Electricity today, for every 500 token, 300 is our use. 200 has gone to tax. We know, as we are progressing with the loss of the shilling to the dollar, that that figure will become the other way around. That for every 500 token of electricity, 300 will be, will be taxed and 200 will be our consumption. It is coming in the next few months. We are in such a bad state, we want to know the true state of our country. And aside from knowing the true state, we know you don't have time to recover this economy. But let those who are aspiring as I am for president not tell Kenyans lies. The country and the government has got nothing else to give you. Nothing else to give you. Let nobody tell you lies they can give anything. That is not true. The only thing we can do, if we are to be honest, is stop the slide, because the slide is very fast. How do we stop the slide? And how do we get back to a thing called supply economics? Productivity. We must raise what each and every one of us produce. There's no time for handouts. There's no money for handouts. The country is in ICU economically. So let us speak the truth, Kenyans. I always say this, and I'll say it again, that you know somebody, not when they sit on the chair, you know them even before. So even us who are competing for this presidency, know us now, we don't change. We just reveal more of ourselves when we get to power. Know us now. If people are telling you lies now, know they will tell you even bigger lies when they're in power. I'm here to speak the truth, and the truth alone. Our crisis and our economic liberation is what is a challenge today. The lives of each and every one of us is at stake. Thank you very much. To harm my opponents more than me, I will consult uh, the people of Kenya who want to and are supporting my candidate, and we shall chart our way forward from there. We hope that this is achieved in the next few months. Yes. But I'm hopeful. I, 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 I believe in ODM. I, I like the party very much. And I'm hopeful that it will stand by the tenets of, of its constitution. So some Kenyans are eager to see you campaign alongside you. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. You know, Raila is my good friend and I have a lot of respect for him. Um, I have said before and I'll say it again, he is a hero of the second liberation. And for that, we owe this 
democratic space that we have. He has not said he's a candidate. We, he has not declared. And should he declare, I think the first thing is to show Kenyans that we believe in democracy. We as a party called ODM must show this country and the world that we can go by a process that you've seen other places in the world where we have debates, where we have our issues debated. I hope that is the platform you're talking about. Where we are campaigning for the party and we are campaigning for internal democracy. That space I will be. But if he decides and chooses to run, we are competitors. And as competitors, let the best man win. Are you going to attend the event? No, I've, I've not been invited. I don't know what it is because it's not an ODM affair. I hear it's Azimio. I have not been part of Azimio, so I don't know what that is. my very good friend. We have a long history as you learned together. Let me tell you, this is, we will team up with like-minded people all over this country and like-minded leaders, especially those that understand that the liberation we have going forward is economic liberation. That liberation must be seen. We must all feel it as Kenyans. We must live it now.